Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create witchy and magical objects in The Sims 4. So we're going to be recreating these three nooks from my Hogwarts Potions class video. But that video is a stop motion, so today I'm going to be walking you through the process and giving you some tips and tricks. I'm also going to do it without the tool mod, which is usually a standard of mine. That way you can recreate them for yourself without having the mod installed. All right, to start with, we're gonna use the Paramount Cauldron from the Realm of Magic, and then we're going to use the Sauce Pot from Dine Out. You can't use the base game one because the sauce disappears when you place it. Also, just wanna quickly mention that this pot will not load to the gallery unless you have Twisted Mexi's Better Build By mod installed. So for those of you that don't have it, I, I do have a different version that I'm gonna show you a little bit later, but I really, really love the Sauce Pot version. So for the, those of you that are able and wish to download the mod, I'm gonna show you it with this version first. All right, the next object we're gonna find is the test tube pedestal from Get To Work. This object's really cool because it bubbles and when you size down the object, the bubbles stay full size. So we're gonna size two of these down and rotate them and hide them within the cauldron until we get uh, the bubbles placed where we like. Now this looks pretty cool and we could stop here, but I want to make it a little bit more magical and sparkly. So we're going to use these fireflies from Outdoor Retreat. And same situation, when you size them down, you can see the bugs, but hide the containers. So we're going to elevate these until you can see the fireflies, but not the tank. And just place them kind of scattered throughout so that we get a nice spread of this, you know, these sparkles. Now when we go back into live mode, how cool does that look? Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. All right. So you can definitely stop here, but because I am extra, I also added some ambrosia pet treats. And as you can see here, these, these just are kind of really sparkly and glittery. So same process, size them down and elevate them so that the glitter is visible, but the pet treat is not. And then when you go into live mode, you have extra magic <laughs> Ta -da! so this next part uh is just decorating around the cauldron so i like to hide the handle of the sauce pot with that antique book stand from vampires because i think it looks like you know a potions like ingredients book and then i like to add a little stool maybe a little table with some kind of miscellaneous ingredients and items and this part you can really just get creative and decorate it however you like. These are just some of my go-to items and the ones that I think look the most magical and fun. So that's what I like to add, but go crazy, decorate it however you want. Now, how cool does that look, right? I mean, oh, I love it. All right, as promised, I'm gonna show you a version that does not require any mods installed. So you're going to get the Spectre Sip Cup from the uh, Paranormal Pack, and then you're going to size it up. But when you size it up to the right size for the cauldron, it's too tall. So you're going to create a basement below the cauldron and then place the Spectre Sip Cup and elevate it up so that it is um, level with the top of the cauldron. Then I like to change the cauldron to a gold color so that it matches. But there you have it. All right, so this next one's a little bit simpler. It's just kind of a, a smaller cauldron on top of a little stand. And then for the stand, I use a um, accent table. And then you're gonna take the soul scrap from the paranormal pack and size it down. And it should sit perfectly inside the cauldron because it's sitting on top of that accent table. Uh, and then once again, you can decorate it however you like. Um, I wanted this little area to be kind of more sciencey looking. Um, so I, I have that beaker set and then like a notepad. And, um, but you can decorate it however you like. The, the main tip on that one is to use the soul scrap inside the cauldron for a really cool effect. Okay, so for our third setup, we are going to be using the Junior Wizard Starter Set from the base game. And this has the coolest look with these, two, you know, the tubing and the beakers full of colorful liquid, but it's in that ugly green plastic frame. So the goal here is really to just hide that 
and use the parts of this that we like. So I, I use the kitchen cabinets only because, um, you know, they're, they don't let you kind of see the table legs underneath. Um, and then I'm hiding the, the, some of the, um, container objects with these cauldrons and then I'm hiding the sink faucet with a, um, I think it's called the galvanized pitcher from laundry day, but you can hide that with lots of different things. And then I'm just adding a few of my go-to kind of magical items. We've got that potion book and some other book options. And then here for the kind of magical animation aspect, we're adding the willow, the wisp, which is another one of those kind of bug type objects from outdoor retreat that looks really cool in, in live mode. So adding a few other magical items. And then here I'm just trying to hide the counter of the cabinets without using tool <laughs> and quickly realizing that some of my go-to objects don't work without the tool mod. So I swap out the cabinets for this cottage living cabinet because the, the counter is a, a prettier wooden shade rather than that tile that I find kind of ugly. And then I'm adding some rainbow fireflies to the other potion to just give it a little bit more pizzazz. Then lastly, I realized that I had a little piece of green still poking through. And so I hide that using these debug fence posts. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, leave a comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And shameless plug, if you haven't checked out my Hogwarts series yet, definitely give it a watch. This is the most epic build I have ever attempted in The Sims 4. I have a whole video series on it. So far we have parts one through four, which is the castle itself, the Great Hall, uh, the Slytherin common room, which I had so much fun doing, and of course the potions classroom, which is what we just did the tutorial for. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time, but until then, stay magical!